people barely notice me. I failed to capture the attention of my closest friends and family at my most upbeat and charismatic of times. I could have worked in a hospital, putting patients into induced comatose states with my monotonous voice. Hell, even I struggled to remain conscious when I spoke. But eight years ago, all that changed. I became a new man. I devised a new way of life for myself that ensured that these fucking rodents would take notice of me. Now these same ignorant pissants who would have previously ignored me hung off every word I said. Anyone would have thought their lives depended on it. It just so happens that anyone would be right. I was becoming so good at this that no one was ever going to stop me. here. Just point out the girls you killed and what you did with their remains. I tell you, detective, there's no greater or more empowering a feeling than standing over someone, looking into their eyes, knowing you're in complete control of their destiny. Believe me, Scott, I know the feeling. Now let's get on with it. They look up at you while you're wielding a cold, sharp piece of steel. They give you a look. <laughs> like you're going to let them go or something. <laughs> and then it suddenly dawns on them. And they realise that 20 centimetres of my blade has sliced through their stomach. And they gasp for a last breath of air. Then they offer you the most. Terrified look. That look is what it's all about, Detective Ross. Alright, Scott. I just want to establish where the bodies are so they can finally be laid to rest and their families can have that little bit of closure. So spare me the gory details. What's the matter, detective? You got a weak stomach. Don't you worry about my stomach, Scott. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with you? What do you expect me to tell you, Detective Ross? I kill because my mummy never breastfed me as a baby? Or well, because my daddy used to sneak into my room late at night and touch me on my naughty bits? Would that make you sleep better at night? If there was a definitive underlying reason that set me off? It's not quite that simple, Detective Ross. You want to know why people like me do what we have to do? I don't care about the schematics. I understand how you tick Scott. I've dealt with plenty of similar whack jobs to you over the past eight years. You're just another freak with a major chemical imbalance in your brain that not only allows you to do the unthinkable, but also to justify the atrocious acts you commit on other human beings. Detective, I've had the urge to kill for as long as I can remember. It just took me a while to realize that not only was I capable of it, but I'm actually quite good at it. Obviously not that good, Scott. Now enough of the horse shit and get on with what I asked. Come on, detective. You've always itched to know why people like me are born with a talent to kill without reason nor remorse. You can't tell me that itch is just... <sighs> vanished without the need for a scratch. All you pricks are the same. A slight overbalance in the old grey matter? How smart you fucks every time. People like you are too busy trying to make yourself feel good by saving a life. When you'll never know how good it feels to train someone of it. Take Hitler, for example. Kills a few Jews, and he's considered a historical conqueror. I kill a handful of human filth that do nothing but contribute to overpopulation and global warming, and I'm labelled a murderer. Why? Because Hitler supposedly had a cause. Bullshit. He enjoyed spilling claret as much as I do. 
well, comparing yourself to Hitler suits me, Scott, as Hitler is dead. And in my personal and professional opinion, you should be down there in hell right next to him. If you weren't hunting down people like me, you'd have no sense of purpose or self-worth. You need me, Detective Ross. I realize killing young defenseless women gives you pleasure. How does it feel to know you're never going to get that pleasure again? I know it gives me a great deal of satisfaction. You may not realize it, Detective Ross, but you're more like me than you could ever imagine. I'm nothing like you, Scott. Here. Take this. Why should hard-working taxpayers be burdened with the expense of keeping garbage like you in jail? Do us all a favor, Scott. Come on. Do it. Do it. What's the matter? You can kill others with no problem. You fucking coward. Mm.